Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 1st of 2024 is titled Odysseus and the Dish. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the Parkes Radio Telescope, and that is in New South Wales, Australia, and it is a large radio telescope 64 meters across. Now, that is not the largest radio telescope that exists, and in fact, the Green Bank Telescope, telescope in Green Bank, West Virginia is 100 meters across, even bigger than this. But it is a very large steerable telescope that is used and can observe objects in the southern sky. Now we see so we see that in the foreground here is this large radio telescope. And then we also see off in the distance, our moon. So that's the glow of the moon there. And why would a radio telescope be pointing at the moon? The moon isn't known as a radio source and doesn't emit a lot of radio waves. Certainly the sun does as well as other objects in the sky. It is pointing at the moon in order to detect signals from the Odysseus lander that landed on the moon. Now, as we know, the Odysseus lander landed and it kind of is tilted. So it ended up being tilted and that means that it's more powerful antenna cannot point toward Earth to send signals. And that makes the signals that we can receive much weaker. So how do we detect those? Well, we need a big, powerful radio telescope to be able to detect those weaker signals. So while its main uh, antenna does not, is not able to function properly, the mission is not lost. And we can still use devices like this one to be able to detect signals from the Odysseus craft, which landed near the south pole of the moon. Now this is the first landing on the moon by the United States of any craft since the Apollo 17 mission back in 1972 and is a prelude to future landings on the moon including human landings hoped for it within the next few years. So again, being able to do that and being able to save this mission by using the Parkes radio telescope is a great achievement. Now, Parkes Radio Telescope was also important because of the timing of the first uh, moon landing of humans back in 1969. And it actually was the one that allowed uh, the tel television reception of that landing. Because of the positioning of the moon at that time, other radio telescopes would not have been able to pick up that that, that signal uh, because the moon would have been below the horizon. However, here we can we're able to detect those and actually broadcast and allow for the live viewing of the first moonwalk that occurred back in July of 1969. So that was our picture of the day for March 1st of 2024. It was titled Odysseus and the Dish. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.